Hey, good morning everybody. So here we are again back at the Heliotrope Ridge Trailhead which is located in the Mount Baker region in the state of Washington. Now, initially I had done this hike back in 2020, I believe in around August or September. I figured, you know what? This year, 2021 would be another good day to actually come by and do this hike. Last year when we did it, it was very foggy. Unfortunately, we were unable to really, really see the glacier until we were making our way back down where I had to get my drone and basically fly out to get a good aerial shot of the glacier. Let's first talk a little bit about the hike for those of you who haven't seen my previous video uh, from last year. The hike is relatively easy. It's a 5.5 mile round trip hike with an elevation gain of approximately 1400 feet. Now the only drawback, the only drawback is that it takes about two and a half hours to get here from downtown Seattle. So depending on whether or not you're willing to put that drive in, you know, to each their own, right? But this hike is really straightforward. And there's a couple of things I do want to mention. I would highly recommend if you guys don't have hiking sticks, definitely come by and bring some hiking sticks. Primarily due to the fact that there are a couple of river crossings that you are going to go through. And in order for you to not slip and fall, I mean, rule number one for river crossings is one, make sure you have a nice sturdy base. That way, you know, in case you're crossing over the riverbed, for example, you don't end up slipping and falling. Because a lot of times the rocks are pretty much constantly underwater. You don't want to risk slipping on the rocks due to, to the mold and to the mossy, rocky area. So as you continue to make your way all the way up, you're going to come across two different areas that you can take. The first one is going to be the glacier uh, viewpoint and the other one is going to be the climbing route. Now, if you want to go ahead and take a look at the glacier viewpoint, obviously take, it, take the glacier viewpoint entrance or rather trailhead. Here's where the unfortunate thing has occurred for at least for us. Initially, when we did this trail last year, the last river crossing, or rather the last waterfall crossing that we had, you had to do, wasn't flowing as rapidly. It wasn't as deep. Today, Labor Day weekend, the water is flowing very vehemently. And as a result, there's no real safe way to really cross. Now, we were talking to some people who said that, you know, if you continue to make your way up along the trailhead, up towards the waterfall, eventually, you'll be able to come across and basically cross to the other side. Uh, unfortunately for us, we're not really, in, we don't really want to put in the extra work. Sadly to say, I'm a little bit tired today. I just feel a little bit weak, a little bit tired. So, what do I end up having to do? I went ahead and got my drone, just kind of cheat. Let's take a look at the glacier. It's beautiful. We were lucky enough that the sun actually broke through, the clouds kind of cleared up, and we were able to get a nice, beautiful panoramic shot of the whole entire glacier. We were lucky because right now, as we're sitting here, the clouds have started to roll back in and the fog has basically covered the glacier again, making it not visible. So it really depends on just how the, wa how the weather is permitting as far as like, if you're able to see the glacier or not. But again, I would highly, highly recommend everybody come by and take a look at Heliotrope Ridge Trailhead. Beautiful, beautiful, magnificent hike. Really not too hard and just for some reason, I'm feeling really, really tired today, but oh well, whatever. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.